Um, quick little like weight loss update for you guys right here in my midsection as you can tell. I don't know if you can really really tell. Let's see, how about in the mirror? So a little bit smaller there I feel like. Also um, I still have some muscular dystrophy um, on my hips and like my upper thighs and I don't know what this I guess this is my thigh um, but yeah still have a little bit there um, still have some shaping to do but we're getting there muscular dystrophy in my glutes um, is getting better so um, also just like the lactose that's just kind of sitting there um, is getting flushed out um, so I can feel it a lot less so that just means that um, my butt is starting to shape up a little bit as well um, to the shape that I want um, so yeah first it's gonna get smaller like it's it's got to go away completely. I still have like a lot of lactose in my lower back um, that has to be flushed out. Um, and muscular dystrophy literally in my sort of my lumbar region um, which has to go down and um, my like my like sacrum area and stuff um, that all has to go uh, down and then once that happens, I'm going to start to shape like this region here, like my thighs, because this shape, um, technically, so if you're short, um, and then like, so I'm, I'm 5'3", I'm not like, um, really, really tall. So if you put on weight, your, I mean, your body shape isn't going to be all that, you know, good. It's not nice so um in order to make yourself look taller and skinnier you which you can do um you have to um literally make this so uh, you can't really see it because it's black um but <clears throat> so the width of your thighs has to be so no cellulose there and it has to look not so out okay so that part has to go down so let's let's say from my midsection to this area like the thigh literally needs to be cut um, a little bit more I can't really see but see how it's kind of a straight line when I go down like it's completely straight that has that's been like that's been work that I had to do but here it kind of curves a little bit um so that's gonna all go away and then you can see how there's curves all right here um that all has to be completely straight um, and completely like cut off in order for you to look um, a little it, it doesn't mean that you're um, skinnier or slimmer um, or hot, like more more prettier than you already are um, <clears throat> it just short it's just sort of um, is a way for you to be able to, um, like, make yourself look a certain way. So, short and fat, necessarily, I mean, I don't describe myself as fat. I think it's kind of like a negative term, but, um, you know, um, just not up to like in like industry standards or something like that um so 
you can make yourself look like that if you're not 5'7 or something. You can make yourself look um, like a pretty tall uh, skinny person if you wear high heels and you do what I just said. So in time, um, that stuff's going to all go away. Um, and I will go into more depth on like how I did it. I still continue to drink loads and loads of water, especially during this process. In order to kind of like speed up the uh, water like loss process because it is just a whole lot of water. So first uh, key in weight loss is remember um, that that is one of the main things that you need to do first and foremost is drain yourself of any excess fluids. So that's what I'm currently on right now. That's kind of what I was describing to you guys in the previous clip um, regarding um, like my sacrum and my lumbar region on my back, um, fluid loss a lot of there, and etc. In this process, one, remember not to stretch any skin. So um, in this process, I'm like not doing anything else. So just that. I'm not even bare. I'm barely not even moving um, the muscles um, lying underneath um, what is sort of like chubby muscles. And then, <clears throat> um, you know, try not to pull anything or like um, carry too much weight so you don't like hurt your back. Will make your real friends, those cunning folk use any means to achieve their ends. So put me on. Good evening, everyone. It is Wednesday, August 18, 2021. Morum, day nine. Vlog number 1599. Currently I'm just setting up the vlog from yesterday so by the time you're watching this video yesterday's vlog should already be up. Please be sure to go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Teddy Bear doesn't know but it's a good thing that I don't have to take care of their kittens too because now I can focus more on them and give them some more loving and take care of them and keep them clean. I am right smack dab in the middle of Harry Potter and the hold on it's called and the Philosopher's Stone I don't know if that's like the first one out of all of them I have literally like I don't know if I have actually like um, read like all of them or not and I actually don't know how many there are, so I'm going to start doing that um, again because I have to kind of preoccupy my my mind a little bit. Um, I've literally seen everything that there is on YouTube and have literally seen everything that there is on Netflix. So, like, my brain just gets tired from um, not doing anything. So I have to actually literally... Um, just kind of like if I'm not studying because my brain will be tired from studying um, if I'm not studying um, then um, just to kind of as like a, as like a relaxation thing I'm gonna um, at least finish reading all of the Harry Potter stuff or listening to them um on Audible, um, yeah, because I I found that I can get through it pretty quickly if I just like listen to them on on Audible, and I'm, I've really literally been trying to do this for a long time. I just never have been able to, I guess, had a reason to do it. I've always just been like trying to go to school and stuff and like just trying to focus on what I'm gonna do for a living and stuff and um yeah so but it's always been like something that I've wanted to do and it's kind of crazy because everyone that I know has probably read it or listened to it or like knows everything about it except for me 
So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that like in the downtime of when I'm not studying because I have to have like something to kind of, um, fall back on because I will, I will get bored. And if I don't study and if I don't listen to that, um, like also alongside the studying then my brain will be um like too tired um or just yeah like not totally alert so it kind of keeps me in that like mode anyways i was talking to my mom just now and stuff uh, my aunt had a fever i think she's doing okay now um and i don't know i'm just talking about some stuff actually i was talking to her about harry potter and how i needed to be be listening to that and studying and stuff um alongside um that because it's like really fun um if you haven't read it I really encourage you to go do so. I I highly encourage you to just read the book. Um, but because like I'm a grown up and not like, you know, like a, a child um, under the, like, I don't know. I guess this came out when I was in high school. Um, so, like since i'm not that age anymore i can do whatever i please <laughs> so i listen to them on audiobook just because i would have to go and and um buy the books in order to read them and i don't have um i don't really have time to do all that stuff so i'm just gonna at least at least i'm gonna listen to it on audible later on i'll probably buy the buy the series but for now, I'm just like actually trying to to listen to it. Um, let's see what I do today. So today it is 9:55. It is Wednesday. Um, I ate some spaghetti earlier. I had I've mostly been trying to drink water, but I had some spray and I had some Coca-Cola. Um, and I think I had. I don't remember what was the bad thing that I had. Oh, I had like three pieces of the lint truffle chocolates, the milk chocolate, the coconut, and I think there's one that's called like stracciatella or something like that. Um, so yeah, so yeah. And then like, I, I kind of told my mom about getting work done on one of my teeth that has like a major cavity. Well, actually that requires a, a filling right now um so i'm probably i'm probably gonna have to get that done um sooner rather than later so stay tuned for that um let's see when when i'm gonna be able to do that i have to have like um, extra money so I'm trying to like actually save as much as I can outside of like um, the money that I make like um, to pay my mortgage and stuff and like just minimal like spending habits um, so I have to save at least 700 something dollars I think um, to get this issue addressed um, I honestly don't know if it's going to be possible, but I'm going to try because my mom's basically having to bear all of that anyway. So I just want to like, I don't know, try to help, I guess. I, don't know. I was like listening. Well, like I said, I have seen everything on YouTube as well as Netflix. So like I got annoyed and like turned those two things off and like um, decided to see if Spotify had the um, listening or the 
audiobook um, for any Harry Potter stuff and I got really lucky today so I was like listening to that for a little bit it really really like eased my it kind of like I don't know eased my like I don't know like my whole like ordeal of not having read or listened to um, anything Harry Potter up until this point. And I got to clean in here. I have ants. Like these tiny, tiny ants. It's because I threw away um, some yogurt. Like the cups. And they contain like sugar yogurt. And I just like threw them in, the, in my um, office trash. Um, it wasn't even that long ago. But literally if you leave it out for like a day. You'll have, I'll have ants the next day. And that's kind of been what has happened. And I still haven't cleaned out my trash. So, yeah. I'm kind of focused on this guy and like trying to clean up all of this fur. He has so much fur. I'm just like trying to get it all addressed before I clean again. And, and stuff and at least like do my... Um, my um, sheets again. Oh, so furry. Holy cow. Look at that, buddy. Good boy. He's a big man. Um, trying to see if there's anything else I want to address in, uh, in accordance to my uh, weight loss stuff. Um, Nothing really, you know. I gotta like reduce or minimize like all the water that I have. So you have to you have to learn how to regulate um, the water, and it's there's a certain word for it. I can't think of it right now, but um, in your body, so that you don't have too much and you don't have too little. Um, so. You have to learn um, how to do that, and then you'll learn if you have a weight issue um, um, as you do it, as you like get on the road to losing uh, weight. So, yeah. Um, so I'm trying not to like dehydrate myself as well. So I'm constantly drinking purified like fresh water all the time. Um, um, but also making sure that, um, I detox as well. Um, I figured out what's wrong with what, what the leak is in my house. There's a vent right above my vanity in my bathroom. You can't really see it from here, but it's like right above my medicine cabinet. So like, and I don't know how to fix it or if I can fix it, but it seems like the place where the vent is, it's too big for the actual like covering to cover the vent. So then it, I, I think that's what causes like the leaks and stuff and I don't know if you can just like fix it or if you can like add more drywall in order to block this the block out um, all of that like whole area that's like um, kind of exposed um, like around the vent um but i did figure out that that's what's causing the problem just don't know how to fix it or if i can fix it um also in addition like the reason that i said like don't pull anything or like hurt yourself because you can you can really you know your body is delicate you know it's a del delicate thing so you have to be um literally under the um 
care of a physician um, to be doing this, but um, you know, uh, I have a knee problem on my right knee, so um, that's why I say like be very careful. I used to put a lot of weight because I used to work as a cashier, like when I was really young, like in high school, and I used to put a lot of weight on my right leg um, when I was like ringing up grocery items and stuff because I, I would have to stand my whole entire shift and so and it would only be like a few hours shift it wasn't like a an eight hour shift it would be like a four or five hour shift type of thing um, so it was like get in and get out and so I kind of hurt my knee because I was doing that for like a long time. I think I was doing that from like 20, um, 2006 until like 2010. So four years. And that caused like me to have like some knee problems. And then on top of that, when I lost control of my weight, it made my knee problem like obviously worse like it will obviously weight gain will obviously cause you to have increased like problems <laughs> um anyways so that's that i'm gonna close the vlog please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will talk to you guys on the next vlog i was still on the phone with my mom and she was like why are you able to mourn your uncle, the death of your uncle? And I was like, because, like, I feel like crap. Like, I'm so sick. She was like, why? What's wrong with you? I was like, nothing. Never mind. And I also forgot to mention that I changed today. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, so, like, I was feeling, like, a lot better. So I decided to change into cleaner clothes which also goes by the name of aconite well why aren't you copying